All right, this is the part of the show where we get to the heart of the political debate, where all sides are fair game. Now, one of the focal points in the Republican race seems to be all that negative advertising, also the super PACs behind a lot of it, ads like the one attacking Mitt Romney over Bain Capital. Now, super PACs were born from that Supreme Court decision that allowed unlimited spending by groups not actually coordinating directly with a candidate. It may seem appropriate then that the second anniversary of that decision is Saturday, the same day as South Carolina Republican primary. That's because in South Carolina alone, super PACs have accounted for nearly 70% of the campaign ads. Joining me now, conservative blogger Crystal Wright and CNN political analyst Roland Martin. The uh, biggest battle of the super PACs has been between Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney. Uh, Roland, you know, when you're talking about these negative ads, and they're meant to be at arm's length from the candidates, I mean, what, what damage is being done to the system? What are the candidates saying makes them OK? Well, first of all, the American people buy into negative ads. They absolutely work. The only reason Newt Gingrich is upset is because he didn't have all the money for his super PACs in Iowa to run against uh, Mitt Romney. His money didn't come in until New Hampshire, then now in South Carolina. Yes, I do believe when you have this much money, when it is anonymous, you don't know who is behind it. Uh, they are putting the kind of money in. It, it is damaging because you are moving the people out of this process. But we've known for a long time, money has always ruled politics. And then, and then the candidate, uh, Crystal, with the most money is going to get the most negative ads on and uh, therefore influences the most people. Is that fair? You know what? Nothing is fair in politics. All this this hoopla over all these super PAC ads, Mitt Romney had it right. You know what? It's a part of the political game. So if candidates had the ability to raise unlimited amounts of money, we wouldn't have to worry about this. Candidates would be held accountable for their own messaging. I think, look, super PAC ads, like all political ads, if they're negative, they're going to have a negative effect on the opponents. So candidates like Gingrich and others and Santorum need to really quit the whining folks. Shouldn't, I mean, but, last so, night's debate... Shouldn't, shouldn't they be winning just, based on what they can do, not what the other guy hasn't done? Yes, uh, that that's has never the been the case. are about. That's never been the, the case in politics. You know, I want to play you a, a that's, chunk that's, from... That's a never Rick... been the case in politics. All right, let me play you a chunk from a Rick Santorum uh, event this morning and we'll discuss. This is a character issue. I mean, we have, we have a lot of character issues dealing with Mitt Romney and his ability to be able to hold a consistent uh, policy position on a whole host of issues. But when now he's trying to run for president of the United States and there's ads out there that are that are absolutely certifiably false and he says they're OK because it gets him political advantage. Uh, this is a huge character issue on Mitt Romney's part. He needs to he needs to step up and do the right thing and quit playing dirty politics. Yeah, uh, Crystal, you touched on this before. Is it a character issue or is it just politics oh, the way come it is? On. No, it's politics. Come on. Santorum is upset because Romney's super PAC ran an ad about him allowing convicted felons to vote. And I think last night, Santorum did a great job, you know, counter to what and contrary to what Roland would like to believe. Debates are where candidates can put other candidates on the record. I think we saw Romney unravel. Santorum spent Crystal, 20 minutes in a toe-to-toe... Excuse me. Santorum spent 20 minutes calling out the fact that while Romney was governor, he what? He allowed to stand the fact yeah. that felons who were on probation could vote. I think let, it was let, great. Okay, what, let, so negative okay, ads. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Negative one ads. One negative <laughs> ads do have an effect. Okay, but got it's that. Not all, it's not all the, in the political process. Well, all right, Roland. Well, very well, quickly, because well, well, I want to put something else to you, well, Roland. It's so well, ridiculous. Crystal, Crystal, right, walk, Crystal, walk, breathe. Walk, Barack Obama's going to raise a billion dollars. All right, Crystal, Crystal let Roland have a go now. Come on. I'm breathing, this, okay, first of all, Crystal, please breathe. Here's the deal. I understand what debates are about. I said early on that right. Rick Perry, we will see how he performs in the debates to determine what kind of candidate he is. And so that's, I don't disagree with that. That is what debates are about. But the bottom line is Good. this. The political system has become about money. That shouldn't be a news flash, Crystal. It might be to you because you're it's still talking. Okay, okay. The reality is that's what they are for. I got, I got some of that. I, I, and you may have told, been able to tell by now, but I'm a bit of a foreigner. I look in it. I've been here for <laughs> 20 years. But I look in at this system and I see... No, you sound like one, you're from uh, South Carolina. Yeah, I'm from the Deep South. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Australia. You know, I look at this system and you've got guys from the same party all standing around beating each other up, eating their own. 
How damaging is that to the political party that is doing the beating up? Because in the end, they turn around, as we saw John Huntsman do, one day saying he's unelectable, next saying, he's a great guy. Roland, you first, very quickly. We're going to get Christian well, I, well, well, look, obviously, that has always been the case, unlike other countries where it's really about the party and not the person. But that's what it's all about. And again, remember, when Hillary Clinton ran those 3 a.m. ads against then-Senator Obama in 2008, the GOP played on that. This is what happens because you have an intra-party fight, then you have a general election fight. That's not going to change ever. Is that a good idea, though, Crystal? Isn't it damaging? I mean, look, we no. in 2008, as Roland pointed out, we saw Hillary Clinton, Biden, Obama, everybody was slinging the mud every which way. But people forget that, I guess, because, you know, it was a Democrat primary. Fast forward to today. No, Romney, no one forgot. Look, this is about... No one this forgot. Is about Excuse me. This is about the process working itself out and, uh, and conservative voters coming to terms with whoever the nominee is. It looks like it's going to be Romney. Uh, and I think it's a good thing for Romney. It's like a proving ground. It's a dress rehearsal for what he's going to face against Barack Obama. And okay. he should look at it that way. Good to see you guys. Roland Martin, Crystal Wright. Obama. Appreciate that. That is fair game. We'll be speaking again, I'm sure.